Hello guys, this is just a, a short little video just to show you what I've uh, been doing on the van. Um, the last video you see I fitted a uh, RFID tag, so you, you swipe it and then you start the car with the key, uh, the van even. Uh, what I've been doing since then is, you'll see these two buttons here and I know they're not straight, uh, in fact I've not finished yet, the dashboard's still in bits, uh, there's wires everywhere. Um, yeah, so what I've done now is push to start. Uh, I, I didn't want to do it on the one button um, because that's well, you need micro micro um, controllers and all that stuff. So I've just done this with fuses. Uh, so here's a quick demo of it. The power button here. It's a bit bright that, but um, they're not it's bright on screen, but it's not as bright on. Um, in real life. So you start the ignition and then hold down start. Oh hang on a minute. I've bodged something down here. I'm just sort that shit. Try again. And there we have it. Engine running. Now to turn it off, you can't actually see this on these buttons but I'll try and zoom in a bit. There you go. It's a bit shit on this camera. Um, well, there you go to turn it off. Power off. That's it. Job done. Didn't take too long. Only all day. But I'm sure for somebody who knows what they're doing with electrics, they can do it a lot quicker. Well, the diagram I had for this was was wrong. Just like my last one, actually. So I've had to um, trial and error. And luckily, I've fused everything. And I've only blown one fuse, uh, which is a 30 amp fuse. So I need to get that replaced. Um, tidy up the back of this, uh, this panel here, because the wire's everywhere. I just wanted to try it first. Um, put it all back together. Straighten these buttons up and fix them permanently because they're just a bit loose at the moment. But it, it does the job for now. So I'll show you again when it's all done.